Hey Facebook, this is Life with Annie, and right now we are, I'm at Mama still, and we're attempting to paint her mailbox. So she's going to hold the camera. Can you see there, Mama? I know yeah. it's, okay. And she's going to, you might have to pull back and pull on, but we're doing her mailbox uh, to dial it up for the summer, so um, she's in charge of the camera. Okay, there you go. All right, and we're not sure how long the Wi-Fi is going to last out here, so we're going to put some flowers on her mailbox. So I'm going to get started, and I have not painted in a long time, so this is just going to be kind of hit and miss. All right. So I'm just, I've already, she had this on here already, just some white leaves. So we're just going to pretend they're not there. And I'm just going to go through and just add a few stems. And I'm going to change out. And I'm going to try to make a rose. You have the paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to use pinks, a pink color, and I'm just going to tip it in white. We've already done the other side, so I can at least show you what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to put the rose here in the center where she's got this other design and pretend like it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> And it's been a long time since I've made one of these, but we'll make it a little bit prettier than just a plain mailbox. Just doing squigglies and mama I'll take the phone if you want to get me some more white paint I know it doesn't look like much okay. all right we had a good time at Walmart And I think the biggest decision that we made in the Walmart was what color pattern was going to be on Mama's paper towels. She has to have a pretty design on her paper towels or she will not buy them. So she found some white paper towels with some blue flowers. And then she was so sure she was going to run out of toilet tissue that how many... 24 she, more rolls. She threw 24 <laughs> more rolls into her buggy, even though she already has 20 at home. Okay, so let's kind of clean up our rows here. And we'll bring some little petals in. Are you close on this, Mama? Uh -huh. Try to keep the wire out if you can. Okay. And then, Mama showed me how to make this really pretty little rosebud. Let's see if I can do another one. And we just come back with some little petals. Do a few of those. And I think we'll do another one down here. It's kind of, and I've already stepped in an ant hill and I've been attacked by vicious ants. Okay. So maybe you think I should do one more rosebud? Like right, right there? Okay. 
Mama always kept her mailbox painted, and then someone came along one night and tore it down, and she said she'd never do it again. Stole the mailbox yeah. and the post. Yeah, so she hasn't had it painted for a while, so we're going to glam it up. Okay, and I think I need a little bit more blue, but I think I can get that. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of blue, and this has glitter in it. Oh, and that was just the siren. There's a hospital not far from here, and we hear sirens all the time. So I think I want to switch brushes on this one. Okay, so I've got this glittery blue color, and I'm just going to make some little daisy-like flowers. And just come make little petals. Another one right here. And another one in here. Okay. And then I've got uh, some dark purple and white. And I'm using a, what's called a scrunchy brush. Scruffy, excuse me, scruffy brush. It's been a long time. <laughs> and I'm going to tip it in the white. And then we're just going to do like some, what do you call this, like uh, wisteria? Yeah. Kind of start kind of thin and fan out as you go. And it's a good filler flower to cover up a lot of your mistakes. Go back and put some dark spots in there. And we'll do another one over, let's see, let's bring one up here. And we'll do, I think we did three on the other side. So we'll do, uh, you think up here, Mama? Uh, or yeah. down here? Up there. Up here? Yeah. She's going to have the prettiest mailbox in the neighborhood. I'm still. Until somebody knocks it over. <laughs> Hopefully they won't. They've done that twice, too. Yeah. I'm going to go back with something over those blue daisies because they're not showing up too well. Maybe put some white in with them. Yeah. Can you tell if anybody's on there if we're getting even uh, internet anywhere? I can't see. I see. I can't see. see. Well, we don't know, but we'll go with it anyway. I can't see the sun. Okay. So let me get some white for the daisies. And yeah, that was me. <laughs> See if we can't bring out our daisies a little bit more. 
So that means on these, Mama, you'll probably have to do a black center. Look, if Andy Warhol can do a soup can and get paid millions of dollars, I think we're okay with our floral design on the mailbox. Okay. Okay. I'll put some white in that one. All right, up in here? Yeah. Okay. Just to brighten it up. Mama has an eye design for art. How about this one? You think it needs anything? Okay. Does it need any more dark? Yeah. It makes some pop, she says. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little dark would be pretty. Okay. You want dark up in the other one also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. That's more natural. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put some leaves on it. leaf out here. And we're working with kind of, there's a lot of ridges in the mailbox, so it's trying to cover up. I hated it so much. Yeah. down to just some simple little indication of leaves. And up here, let's see. I'll have them come down. And we can always go back and put little veins in these. here. It's hard to paint sideways and Cover this one up. Try to put some yellow in it this time. And we're just using, you know, paints that she, we used to take paint art painting classes together, myself and my sister and mama, and we haven't taken one in a really long time. So we're just using up what we had left. The class. She didn't flunk the class, but she was the funnest, she was the most fun student that they had. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. And she always made my sister sit by her because she needed her to kind of show her the way. Were you with us at Tech the time I had to leave because I didn't want them to see it? Uh -uh, I don't remember that. Oh, goodness. Okay. And we're just, I'm just covering up all of my boo boos. And I'll probably put a little flower there. Round off my leaf a little bit. 
Okay. So I think we're getting to about the end of our little little flower tutorial. Um, and then, Mom, do we have any? What do you want to do? Like the lavender in the side? It's a kind of a dark color. The lavender where? In to make the centers instead of oh, black. Yeah, but I have to hold the phone. <laughs> you want me to do it? Yeah. Cause I... Okay. So for the little <laughs> little flowers here, we're just taking the tip of the the paintbrush, one of the wider tips, and just you can uh, on the other side. I think we used yellow because the flowers are a different color, but to since there's those killer ants again yeah on my plate okay and that's all of those and then the final thing that I do is I take um, a thin like a almost a liner brush and kind of Get your paint a little moist and we're just going to do some what we call curly cues and you just kind of make your curly cues and you can do them in all colors green all colors of greens you can put some yellows in there Some of this paint has dried up on us, but we're just using what we've got. And I think I'm going to do just a little bit more over here. Just to kind of cover up some of this. So if you ever don't like something or don't like the way it looks, just use your scruffy brush and make some some of these flowers, little lilacs. Okay, Mama, what do you think? think we're calling it done or yeah okay so I'm gonna walk around and show you the other side okay. if anybody's out there <laughs> uh, so do, we well, you need, do you need to go in okay so this is the finished side um, that we did But anyway, that is the mailbox. And it only took just a couple minutes. I'll come around to this side, trying to avoid the ants. Okay, and then here is the other side that we just did. So you don't have to have a lot of talent, as you can see, to make a pretty mailbox. So. I think you know, and it's drying quickly because it's very hot out here right now. So we just wanted to show you how pretty um, her mailbox went. Spray it, yeah, and then we will seal it with, with a spray. Lacquer. What is a lacquer? Yeah, and we'll put a couple of coats on there to to keep it, you know, from the weather. So anyway, just wanted to stop by and show you that fun project. If your mailbox is looking kind of rickety and you and you can't paint freehand, just put a take a coloring book and trace something on there. And it'll look great. So we will put talk to you. <laughs> yeah, put some polka dots all over it, Mama said. But thank you so much for watching. We're going inside because we're going to have major allergies and major <laughs> bug bites on our feet. See you soon. Bye-bye.